Welcome back to Singapore tonight. Thank you for staying with us. A protein called ABCB1, that's possibly the secret behind cancer suppression in bats, could lead to future therapies for human cancers. Now, the protein helps move many foreign substances out of cells, and researchers from the Duke NUS Medical School recently discovered that there are significantly more of this protein in bats than humans. They also found that blocking this protein in bat cells triggered the accumulation of toxic chemicals causing DNA damage and cell death, which can contribute to cancer. Now, for more on this, the senior author of the study, Associate Professor Koji Itahana from Duke NUS, a cancer and stem cell biology program, joins us in studio for more. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Now, what led the team or what led you to, to study the lower instance of cancer in bats and, and why bats in the first place? There are so many other animals that are more closely related or have more in common with humans. So why we chose bat is because uh, a bat is a unique mammals uh, uh, give a quite a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, there's a theory that uh, uh, bigger animals such as whales and uh, also uh, uh, several big animals uh, can live uh, longer compared to the uh, small animals such mm -hmm. as uh, mouse. And uh, mouse is a very small size like this size. Mm -hmm. uh, but the bat also have a, a similar size. And mouse live just two years, but bat live up to 40 years. Mm. So it depends on the species. So this means that there's some uh, important mechanism, to, unique mechanism to prevent the cancer in bats. If mm. we found out this mechanism, then we can translate to the human being. Mm. So that's the reason why we choose the bat. And also, uh, we have a, a uh, our Duke NS have uh, uh, Professor Lin Fa Wang, who is uh, uh, famous for bat biology, mm -hmm. and uh, he is a collaborator of us and uh, let us to work in this uh, subject. Mm -hmm. So he helped a lot. So that's the reason uh, mm -hmm. we choose bat. Mm -hmm. So help us to understand how, how this works then, because as we understand it, there is this particular protein that transports this, these toxic drugs out of the system. Uh, if you can explain to us, how exactly does this suppress the cancer in the bats? So we show that uh, uh, high levels of this protein uh, in the bat and that uh, export to the, a lot of uh, toxic uh, materials from the mm. uh, bat. Uh, so, uh, having a, a lot of toxic chemicals is very bad for the cells because it causes uh, DNA damage. Mm -hmm. DNA has uh, important information. Once DNA gets uh, critically damaged, uh, it gets out of control and then lead to cancers. So, therefore, it is important to protect the, all these protect the cells from these toxic chemicals. That's why BAT has uh, many uh, of these proteins and then that prevents uh, uh, cancer. Uh, and how does this discovery then help in the search for cancer in humans? How are you going to make the leap from, from what you've learned in bats to making it apply uh, to humans? So, uh, so we show that uh, bat ha expressed uh, quite a high amount of uh, this protein in all of the tissues. Uh, so uh, we expect that uh, not only uh, bat uh, uh, removed the, uh, this toxic chemicals from the uh, uh, body, but also uh, routinely export some uh, harmful uh, metabolites inside the cells, generated by the cells, uh, to pumping out. Mm -hmm. So the, therefore, uh, this method, uh, understanding these metabolites uh, may help for our uh, human uh, body because uh, removing the, this uh, uh, metabolites also may be helpful for human health. So right. we have uh, several candidates of this uh, metabolites right now, and we hope uh, these, removing these metabolites can help uh, uh, human cancer, uh, prevent human cancers, also uh, maybe uh, excel at uh, uh, contribute to longevity in the human being. Mm, so the potential for this is yeah. uh, particularly significant, isn't it? But this protein, ABCB1, is it applicable to all cancers, though? Uh, I think so, uh, because uh, uh, but uh, so, so far we don't know exactly which type of cancers, mm. uh, uh, but uh, uh, certainly this uh, ABCB1, uh, this uh, the pump protein, is uh, uh, quite uh, uh, 
distributed in the whole tissues, right. in the many tissues in bat. That, uh, le that uh, means that uh, uh, they protect the cells from many different tissues. Mm. So uh, I think uh, uh, we don't think uh, this uh, ABC gun can protect particular uh, uh, tissues. Okay, yeah. and what's next for your study? So next study, we are thinking that, uh, as I said before, uh, we are thinking that this uh, make, uh, the, uh, finding of this uh, intracellular metabolites, mm. uh, which uh, can export from the uh, bat, finding this. And also, we are thinking, how about uh, expressing a lot of uh, this pump protein in the mouth to see mouth live longer or mouth get less cancers. So that's what uh, we are doing it right now. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing that with us. Associate Professor Koji Itahana from Duke NUS Cancer and Stem Cell Biology Program.